Hi, I'm Janet. Welcome to my home and welcome to my backyard today. We're going to cut glass today for wet platers. Let's get started. So before we start, let's lay out the things that we'll need. I have a piece of glass under here. I have two types of glass cutters. I have a little file for the end to buff it down so there's no sharp edges. I have a pair of gloves because I can be a little hesitant about cutting glass and wearing gloves makes me feel a little bit more confident. That's a me thing. You can try it too. These are called running pliers and you'll need these. Um, you can buy this in a kit. I bought this, this, this all together at Amazon. It came in a little kit. Here's another pair of pliers I like to use just to have handy if I don't feel like handling something that looks like a sharp edge. I like to have an edge that I can cut against. And then of course I have all kinds of measuring devices. I also have a box here where if something goes south and my cut doesn't go well, I put the glass right in the box. Um, I don't want little shards of glass around. I've got little critters and I don't want any paws getting cut up. And then of course I also have paper towels to sop up any blood. Kidding. That's a joke. So let me go over the different types of cutters. This is just two. If you look around, there's a ton of them. Um, this is a carbide uh, cutter. These last longer. This is a steel cutter. These are very easy to find, like at the, your hardware store. But just you need to know, that steel wheel on there, that, do, that doesn't last very long. It's a few cuts and then this is done. It won't do you any good. This one, now you could put the oil in the handle if you want, it's kind of fancy, but you really don't need it. Um, this carbide uh, wheel on here is much longer lasting and you can buy them where you can replace these uh, cutters. One thing on here that I'd like to point out, here is the little screw that you would undo to replace the cutter on here. This gets super swivelly which makes it hard to cut a straight line when you're beginning. So you might need to get like a little pair of eyeglass screwdriver things, you know, and tighten that up a little bit and it won't roll around on you so much. And I think it's a little bit easier. Okay, let's get to starting how to cut glass. Okay, so I like to cut on my quilting mat, an old, old quilting mat that I use for various crafts, as you can see. And when you use a quilting mat, you're not really measuring from the edges here on your mat. You're going to be using the center uh, lines on your mat and you're going to be measuring out from there. So you can see I've measured out and marked the width and length of both 5x7 and 8x10 glass for myself. Then I'm just going to take my piece of glass and I'm going to put it on that center line right there. Now, I like to use this to uh, just guide my little cutting wheel here. Um, I think it makes it a little bit straighter for myself. I've seen people not use it at all. Good for them. I can't. So I'm going to make my one cut here first on my uh, five by seven. And I'm going to line up my little guide on my hash marks. There and there press really hard. Now, the trick to using this thing here is your shoulder has to be over the wheel. So you just press down. Did you hear that sound? That's a great sound. Now I'm going to take my little running pliers and I'm going to look real carefully at them because on one side there's a little line. Can you see that little line? And if you look at the draws of these pliers, they've got like a little bump here and then it, like, it matches up there. You want the little bump on the bottom of your glass and then you line that line up where your little mark is and then click and then it comes apart. This little screw up here what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of glass, here I'll show you here, you're going to put it in there and you're going to tighten it down until those jaws match 
and then you're gonna back it off a quarter of a turn and then you'll be at the right uh, tension there for this to work nicely. So I'm going to pick up my glass. I'm going to line that up and then bloop, look, like really good, came out nice. Okay, so I've turned my glass around. Now I'm gonna make my other mark here. I line this up with my hash marks. I'm gonna press down. This pistol grip type of a cutter, you're gonna go up and down, and again, your shoulder's gonna be over that point as you go up. There's the sound that knows I made good contact. My little pliers in the right direction, the little line. Let's see. There we go. Okay, and then just because I'm kind of a nut, I like to make sure that this fits in my carrier because um, I don't want to get into the dark room and find out that that did not work out quite the way I thought it was going to. That's a bad time to find out. So it works. We're done with that one. Very good. Let's cut another five by seven piece so you can see the whole thing one more time. I'm gonna press down really hard. I'm gonna take my carbide tipped glass cutter and I'm gonna go in an upward motion and my shoulder is gonna be over this cutting surface the entire time. And you're gonna listen for the sound. I'm going to take my running pliers and I'm going to take that little line that's on the top. And I'm going to line it up with the line I just made. And there we go. Press down hard, my glass cutter, my shoulders over my work. And there we go. And I'm going to make sure this fits inside my carrier because later is a bad time to do it. There we go. Fits right in there. Now to finish this off nicely and to make sure my collodion stays on here, I'm gonna take my little edger here and I'm just gonna really gently, one time, whoop, I'm just gonna make like a diagonal swish up here and that's gonna actually line up the molecules. It'll give it a softer edge and it's gonna make a tiny, tiny little ledge on the edges so the collodion stays on a little bit better. One. Two, three, and done. That's it. I'm not doing any more than that. And then, of course, we have the joy of cleaning all of this. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye, you guys. Have a good day.